This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Many Wildcat fans were among the 6,000 socially distanced in San Antonio's Alamo Dome for the NCAA championship game. The Wildcats were down one with six seconds left, but Arizona fell to Stanford after the shot, 53 to 54. Head coach Adia Barnes said she wanted the ball in Ari McDonald's hands in those final seconds, but Coach Barnes said McDonald's missed shot wasn't why they lost the game. It was little things like missed free throws or turnovers adding up. McDonald there is expected to declare for the WNBA draft soon. And for more on the Wildcats remarkable season, check out our Moments of Madness half hour digital special. This is streaming on the Kega 9 app. Starting today, vaccinations will be open to more people. Here in Pima County, those 16 and older will be eligible. In Santa Cruz County, all adults 18 and up will be able to get an appointment. Leaders there say the vaccines are for those who live or work in the county, and you will be required to bring proof of either to your appointment. Starting today, also Pima County is reopening several libraries to the public again. Mask wearing, social distancing and temperature checks will be in effect. Visitors will also be able to browse and check out books once again, use the computer for up to an hour and curbside pickup will still be available. For more on what else will be open and which locations, you can check out our website. Today, one of Tucson's favorite events will return. Meet Me at Maynard's is back in person in downtown Tucson in the courtyard of Hotel Congress. Now the event starts at 515 this afternoon and another one coming back. Meet Me Wednesdays, which will begin this week also. Participating folks are asked to bring their own water and check-ins will be mostly virtual. All right, let's take a look at your forecast if you're heading outside. Hot early April temperatures will continue today. Then a weather system passing by will result in slightly cooler temps along with some gusty winds Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll see potential fire weather impacts on Wednesday, plus above normal temps and very dry conditions will continue into the weekend.